And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal, and they face Brentford. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number five, Alexander Zinchenko. Number five, Thomas Partey. Number eight, Martin Odegaard. Number 34, Granit Xhaka. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. And here's the starting 11 for Brentford. Ben Mee starts alongside Zanka in central defence. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Thank you, Edward Stadium. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Jensen. Useful looking position, you've got to say. That's strong play as he keeps the ball in anticipation of support arriving. Well, that's gone out and it is going to be a goal kick. He has been one of the leading lights in the competition so far, Gabriel Jesus. I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Janert. He's trying to create something. Can he give them the lead? Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. And the short option preferred. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Gabriel Martinelli. Thomas Partey. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. And let's give credit to the defending. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Will they profit from this situation? A glorious chance, and it's in! 1-0, they breach the defence. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next.
Ben White. Now with Jesus. Gabriel. Jacka with it. And promising stuff from Arsenal. But the danger averted for now. Partey. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And still looking to get the shot away. Determined defending. Well, here we are, moving close to half-time and Arsenal chasing the game. Stuart, what have you made of their performance to this point? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Now the electronic board showing one additional minute. Jesus. Well, that's one for them to pursue. He just needs to stay level-headed now. So, half-time. That will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates. Well, a slightly underwhelming performance from Bukayo Saka, if we're being 100% honest. Well, it's not been one of his best displays, Derek, has it? He really hasn't been able to affect the game here. Unless he starts getting on the ball, they're going to struggle to get back into this one. Back underway with Arsenal trying to find a route back into the match. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Partey, and will it be the leveller? Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Martinelli, well, offside by the merest of margins. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. That's right, and priority number one here is to win the ball back. Ivan Toney. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Well, they've decided to make a change. Mbemo. Will he play it in? Running with the ball confidently. Christian Nurgard and making headway. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. The high press was very much on. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Well, just listen to these Arsenal fans. They're certainly driving their team forward here. Trossard. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And space to cross it. Partey being egged on by the crowd. It's there for him. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And with play stop, they will make the change now.
Jensen. And forward they go, chasing the game. But timely defending when it mattered. Well, in the closing phase, and Stewart, it's not going Arsenal's way here. Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. Henry. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Bukayo Saka. Wonderfully weighted pass. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. This could square the game. Pivotal moment defensively. The final whistle and the Gunners go down. They've lost this game. No points picked up. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances. Could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal. And they kick off here.